We use AWS like Legos for all the little pieces and we kind of stitch it together for the different kind of applications that we're trying to build. But why Redshift is really important is because it's a nice columnar database that's really fast. My name is Dan Wagner, I'm the CEO of Civis Analytics. Civis is a data science advisory and technology firm based in Chicago, Illinois. We create technologies that help organizations, including nonprofits, companies, and political campaigns, leverage their data to make better decisions and become more data driven. I started in the 2012 Obama campaign where we had this fancy multi-million dollar stack, 20 IT people, lots of money kind of coming from the ceiling, budgets, procurement, all that kind of fun, fancy enterprise level stuff. And on election night when things kind of ended and the curtain closed and things went black, we were basically kind of 15 to 20 crazy kids clutching our Macs on the street with a bunch of really good ideas. But right after that happened, I started to get interesting calls from people who were looking for the same level of insight that we have brought to politics but in different industries. To do it inexpensively and essentially to scale to the needs of ultimately a Fortune 500 company, which was what we were in before. And as we were kind of sitting there clutching our Macs saying, well, how are we going to help these people? The only real alternative was to start using AWS. Redshift allows us to do two things, basically. It allows us to scale up basic analytics across a wider number of users within an organization. That's the big thing. But in terms of what it gives us, in terms of how it differenti differentiates the service, is it allows us to essentially democratize access to analytics among a wider set of users within an organization. So the, the technical part is great in the sense that the tool is great, but the scale allows us to allow more people to participate in the analytics process, which is a fundamental difference in terms of utility. In terms of Redshift, you know, we use the, the kind of big two options. You have dense storage and dense compute. And the, the kind of like that really kind of depends on what the client demands are. But in some cases, they might either be more cost sensitive or the business might not need answers that fast, in which case we can essentially put something on kind of a on dense storage and that might be good enough for them. So we can essentially both accommodate the business requirements, which is cost of an organization, but also the processing requirements, which is I need this now. <laughs> and we can essentially provide it for them. But we were working with a political organization 12 months ago, and in their first month, they ran a couple hundred jobs in a combination of Redshift and Dynamo and EC2, kind of using the kind of threaded pieces of EC2 that we have put together in a single data science infrastructure to do analytics for them, right? In the last month, they were doing tens of thousands of jobs. We had a multiple order of magnitude improvement or growth in the type of the type of jobs that they were doing and the complexity of jobs that they were doing across all the different pieces of AWS. We have this philosophy, which is how do we empower decision making for everybody at the context at which they are. You know, a decision maker CEO in an organization is really concerned about strategy and structure. Somebody who's kind of a, a director, or a middle level manager really wants to understand tactics and kind of the placement of resources, what the most efficient thing is. And a person at the bottom, or not necessarily at the bottom, is really concerned about operational ability and agility. What Redshift, but also AWS, allows us to do is to provide people with a decision-making framework at each level of the organization.